Hello and welcome to the TempoZone Compressor Inverter Tutorial. The common inverter found within the TempoZone range is the Corel Power Plus. TempoZone utilised the Power Plus due to its reliability, compact size and high-level Modbus communication capabilities. TempoZone used high-level Modbus communication to send and receive commands via RS485 cable connected from the A2, B2 zero volt terminals on the UC8 board. One advantage of using Modbus communication is the ability for the UC8 to program a unique set of operational parameters for specific compressor models through the compressor selection function within special mode E of the UC8. Modbus communication also allows for the high level fault information to be sent to the UC8 display. Rotor speed compared to amp draw allows for appropriate compressor protection to be enabled in all regions of the compressor envelope. An example of this may be a compressor running at low speed, low capacity, tripping on overload due to a block condenser. The block condenser causes high head pressure, increasing the amp draw above the expected current at that motor speed. Two methods of inverter cooling are employed in temper zone equipment. The first method, common on air-cooled equipment, is internal cooling forcing air across a heatsink. The second method, common on water-cooled equipment, is the use of a cool plate. Cool plates operate as an evaporator, allowing refrigerant expanded through an electronic expansion valve controlled by the UC8 to cool the inverter when required. UC8 Special Mode N needs to be selected to setting 9 for successful operation of the cool plate. The Corel Power Plus has three indication lights. The power light will indicate green when the inverter is powered. The run fault light will indicate red when a fault is triggered. And the data light will flash orange when communication data packets are sent and received. For easy clarification of faults, the UC8 display will show a fault code that can be referenced in version 8 of the service training manual. All faults relating to the Corel Power Plus begin at F100 and continue up from there. Communication with the UC8 via high level Modbus requires the inverter to be addressed. Addressing is completed by removing the inverter cover and turning on dip switches 1 and 4. Compressor leads are heavily screened and grounded to prevent EMF interference. The Power Plus inverter relies on EMF feedback to determine rotor location, rotor speed and current draw. For these reasons, it is critical that EMF from other electrical sources does not interfere with inverter measurements. Capacity input can be requested by four different methods. 0 to 10 volt analog control installed in the field to the VC terminal inputs on the UC8 controller. High level BMS control by Modbus RTU serial communications terminated in the A1, B1 terminals of the UC8. Temper zone controllers such as the TZT100 or SAT3 will request capacity on a proportional band between set point and room temperature or by supply air control within the UC8 controller by selection of special mode Y. Supply air control aims to maintain 12 degree cooling supply air temperature and 35 degree heating supply air temperature. If you find your Corel Power Plus in fault, cross-reference to fault code in the TempoZone UC8 manual or TempoZone Corel Power Plus manual to help your diagnosis. Just remember that more often than not, an inverter will fault due to operational abnormalities within the refrigeration system or power supply related issues, not a fault of the inverter itself. Some general checks that may help you with your inverter investigations are, check the UC8 display, check the indicator lights, check the UC8 compressor selection is correct, check that special mode N is set to nine for cool plate models, check that air intakes on inverter are free and clear. Check wiring is tight and secure at inverter and compressor. Inspect that screen cables are grounded correctly. Check that addressing of dip switches one and four are on. For further information to help your field diagnosis, be sure to download the latest version eight of the TempoZone service training manual from temperzone.com or ask for a hard copy at your local branch.
Be sure to subscribe to the Tempazone YouTube channel for training and tutorial videos, product updates, and much more.